so hello guys my name is amit so today we are going to discuss about this problem sudoku solver so basically i'll just explain about uh, the question first and then we'll um, look into how to solve a basic sudoku not about the code uh, and how it structured that's a separate part so basically in sudoku we have uh, a 9 by 9 or 4 by 4 or 5 by 5 uh, matrix in which few of the cells are filled for example in this sudoku 5 3 7 and so on some cells are filled some are empty we need to find the exact number in the particular cell so that that entire row that entire column doesn't have that number even in 9 by 9 box uh, this smaller box should not have any number repetitive that is it should have the unique 1 to 9 numbers so each digit 1 to 9 must occur exactly once in each row, each column. And each digit 1 to 9 must occur exactly one, once in each of 3 by 3 sub box of the grid. So basically this is the problem. So let us uh, try to understand that basically how we are going to solve uh, the Sudoku from a very small um, example. Maybe let's take a 4 by 4 board. So, for example, we have uh, this 4x4 four four board where we have uh, the box constraint, sub box constraint is not there, but the constraint that uh, we have uh, unique element, unique number across the row and across the column is same. But the point here is in 4x4 four four board, we can only place four numbers, that is 1, 2, 3, 4. So the basic concept starts like this. We'll start from... Uh, this uh, 0 0 element that is this one so at 0 0 we'll just check that what possible uh, numbers are there that is what possible solutions are there so if we see here uh, 1 is not possible 2 is possible 3 is not possible and 4 is possible so we j have two solutions for it that is 2 and 4 so here if you see I have just uh, noted 2 and 4 here uh, let me just Come with a bigger picture okay I have just noted 2 and 4 here so then we move to the next column uh, we can move to the next row as well but we, uh, we have to either move to next uh, row wise or column wise that is but now we are will be moving from 0 0 to 0 1 to 0 2 to 0 3 and so on and then we'll come back to uh, 1 0 that is whenever we reach last column we'll come back to the first uh, that is the first element in the next row so for 0 0 we have two elements 2 and 4 we have placed 2 here then we come here uh, at this position we'll find uh, what are the number of possible solutions that is what what number is possible so we'll see that 2 is already here 1 is not possible 2 is not possible 3 3 is not possible so 4 is possible we placed 4 here 1 is already there so we'll not look at it so for this uh, that is one zero three we only have one entry that is three so this is the tree this is the basically recursion recursive tree uh, shows something like this that is at zero zero we have two solutions two and four we parked solution four and noted two at zero one we have only one solution that is four at zero three we have only one solution that is three so we place three now we are at one one zero uh, so it's already three we will not look at it we'll move at 1 1 so at 1 1 what all possible solutions are there so 1 is possible uh, 2 is also possible 3 is not possible and 4 is also not possible so out of 1 and 2 we'll note the first solution that is 1 so just remember that whatever number of solutions are there we'll just try with the first solution so at 1 1 we have two solutions that is 1 and 2 we'll go with the uh, 1 and we'll move to position 1 2 here at position 1 2 what uh, possible solutions are there so 1 is not possible 2 is possible again 3 is not possible here and 4 is possible right so 4 is not here so I've just placed this uh, for the reference but consider that these elements are not there so out of 2 4 we'll note 2 so at 1 2 we have 2 and 4 and we'll go with 2 so with, by placing 2 we'll move to uh, this one this position there is 1 3 now at 1 3 what all possible solutions are there 1 2 3 are already there so only 4 so we placed 4 and we'll move to 2 1 so at what 2 1 what possible solutions are there uh, 1 is possible 2 is not possible 3 is not possible even 4 is not possible right this is this element is not there consider it as not there so we'll note 
we'll take one and we'll move to the next element now this is already three so we do not consider anything so at uh, two one there are two solutions one and four we'll note one and we'll move to two two because two uh, sorry at two zero there are two solutions um, this should be two zero uh, I'll correct it and at two one <coughs> three is already there so we'll not consider <coughs> Now we are, we are at 2, 2. So at 2, 2, what possible solutions are there? 1 is not possible, 2 is not possible, 3 is not possible. Only one solution there is 4 is possible. So we are at 4. Now the problem here is what should be placed here in this? That is uh, 0, 1, 2. That is 2, 3. So at 2, 3, what will be placed? So we'll try with uh, 1. 1 is not possible. Uh, 2 is also not possible, 3 is not possible, 4 is not possible. So at every cell, we'll try to look at the solutions from 1, 2, 3 and so on up to till uh, the box dimension is there. So at every cell, we are just trying 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So at this place, we do not have any solution. So we'll just backtrack. In backtracking, we'll move to the previously placed element and we'll just go to that cell where we have more than one solution so in if in this case we see we backtrack from here we reach here there was no solution there is there was only one solution we have already placed we'll move to this one which had two solutions that is one and four so we'll try with four now so if we see this tree it backtracks to two zero here this should be two zero and it will try the solution four right so let us place four here so first was already placed we'll place four so we'll move here then what all possible solutions are there one is not possible two is not possible three not four not so again we have to backtrack so we'll backtrack again now both of these solutions are exhausted so we'll move to two here so let us see so we'll move to this one that is one two at position one two we had two solutions two possible solutions one is already eliminated that is two now we'll try four so with four, uh, we place four here and then we'll move to uh, this position. That is zero, three. We place, oh, sorry, one, three. So we place four and we'll move to one, three. So at one, three, what element can be there? Now, let's see. One is not possible. Two is not possible. Three is not possible. Four already placed. So again, we have to backtrack. So from here, we backtrack to one, one place because we have already tried we are on this box we have already tried four so we'll backtrack to this so we have one here now we'll try two so with two we'll place two here uh, this one we'll place two here then we'll move to uh, the element one two <clears throat> add one two what possible solutions are there one no two no three no four yes four is there then we'll move to one three then we'll again check from one 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 uh, is one possible yes one is not one is possible any other solution two no three no four no so place one now at this that is two zero we are at two zero there are two possible solutions how one is possible two not three not four yes so we'll place the first one that is one then we'll move to here here how many solutions um, one not two yes three not four not right because 1 3 and 4 are there so 2 is here so we are at position 2 2 so at 2 2 there is only one solution which is 2 then we move to 2 3 so what possible solution 4 only so we have 4 here now we move on to the next row which is uh, what possible solution 1 no 2 no 3 no 4 yes so only one possible solution then uh, sorry this one then we'll move to 3 1 uh, so what possible solution 1 yes 2 no 3 no 4 no so place 1 and then we'll move to uh, this place that is um, 3 2 what possible solutions 1 no 2 no 3 yes and 4 also no so if we see here 3 is neither in the row neither in the column and that's the end of this one right so this is how we actually uh, backtrack so backtrack is basically a concept that whenever we are stuck we have to move to the point or a path where two possible paths are there so for example if we are stuck here then we have to go to a point where two possible paths were there we have already tried path one now we'll try path two
so similarly we have um, like we have maze problems where the robot is stuck on any path so we ha it has to backtrack and then try the other paths so now uh, let us uh, so this is uh, the similar explanation for 4 by 4 matrix so now let us see that how uh, we are going to write a code for it so basically <clears throat> let me write the constraints first of all so what all pos for what all constraints are there first is that um, if we are at last row that is if column is equal to size minus one right if column is equal to size minus one that is we are at last column sorry we are at last column then what do we have to do we have to move to next column then we have to do row equal to zero and uh, row equal to row plus one and column equal to zero this is the first constra constraint then <coughs> um, what would be the second constraint second constraint is that if element is not equal to zero that is we have something some element like this so we'll backtrack backtrack to where to the next column that is column plus one that is we if we are here we will not check this element we'll check the next element that's fine then what is a base condition base condition for breaking out of uh, the loop is if we are at the last element right so if uh, row is equal to equal to uh, size minus one and column is equal to equal to size minus one so in that case we have to return that is return a solution basically or I'll say solution and we have to return from here something like this right so uh, we have a similar template basically for the backtracking problems let me go through the backtracking template first and then I'll try to explain the solution of this problem. So basically this is the backtracking template. So for any backtracking problem, uh, whether we have an n-queen problem um, or whether we have uh, uh, this uh, Sudoku problem or whether we have a robot cleaner problem, we uh, will use the same, exactly same template. So what will happen? What will have is we'll have some a function something as solve, which will have a board. So we'll start from the element zero, and we'll do a recursive backtrack with row equal to zero and column equal to zero and passing board onto it. So this is our base case, which I have already uh, discussed. That if the row is equal to size minus one or maybe last element, we have reached the last cell, then we'll return the solution we'll try all the possible candidates so if we, if you remember here we have two possible candidates here one and two in this loop we are uh, where it is gone sorry in this loop we will try both the candidates that is one and two and if candidate is not valid uh, that means uh, it's not unique in the column row and a box we will continue otherwise what we'll do if candidate is valid then we'll place the candidate then we'll recursive backtrack to candidate plus one or maybe next column and finally we'll remove the candidate here uh, this is also very important for the backtracking problem we'll see how so let me just quickly go through uh, go to the problem go to the uh, solution that is the code for this one and let me try to explain it so um, okay so this is the board board is same as this one that is the same board it is let me just so i'm not using any drawing or something i'm just trying to use the notepad to explain the things better so we have an integer array two dimensional array which has zero means uh, that is empty that is we have to place an element in it and one means we already have an element so we'll start with uh, solve sudoku similar to what we have in uh, like any any programming platform we'll pass the board so we'll note the board size so in in this case 
we will have four because we have four by four and this is for printing the output let's ignore it so now let's go to the backtrack so in backtrack what happens is we are at row zero and column zero this condition is not met um, because uh, let me just pull this one and make it small okay so we are at row zero and column zero and uh, this condition is not met so now we will see that if column is equal to size that means we are at the last uh, column this condition is also not met now we'll see that if board row and column that is this element is not equal to zero uh, that means we already have a prefilled element uh, then what we have to do we have to move to next column this condition is also not met not met so in our case we are here so we'll start from 1 till 4 and we'll check is it a valid solution or not so what valid solution does is it simply checks that for this entire row does this element n exist or not if it exists return false in this column if it exists return false otherwise return true so here um, board will return true so in this case uh, we'll place two then we'll backtrack to column plus one that is here to fourth element then again this will come here check all the conditions we'll see that this box is empty and we'll find the first possible solution that is it will find four because one two and three are already there so this is valid solution is valid function fails here so this is how basically this function will run so i'll just uh, i have a visual studio code here which is for solving a four by four i have just made it a bit generic let me comment it and let me uncomment this one four by four working now it's nine by nine okay so i have basically the same four by four board and this is the exactly same solution which we have discussed so uh, let me just run it and see that whether it's it works or not so if we have a valid solution in a sudoku on a four by four board this will definitely print and one more thing here is uh, the backtrack let me just place uh, let me just place a breakpoint here so the, the the point i was saying is this point is also very important that is we have to note the solution in a backtracking uh, okay let me just continue so we have to note the solution in a different uh, array in a different board because whenever we'll have a solution uh, it will be backtracked and it will come so it will be backtracked means it will be deleted it will be emptied or made to the initial state so now uh, let me put a breakpoint here let me hit a continue so now if we see here this board which we have originally passed is same right this is the same but the solution which we have here is it's filled so now if i do a continue so we have a solution of this board that is four two one three and something so this step is already always very important in backtracking problem that as soon as we reach the base case we have to note the solution in a uh, separate uh, board and then we have to return it so this is the exact same code which I, i'll be i'm using for four by four uh, matrix then I'll show it uh, it's working similarly and same for 9 by 9 matrix as well 9 by 9 board only only uh, difference in 9 by 9 board is this is the same uh, board which uh, lead code has if you see here in lead code this is the same board 5 3 7 6 1 9 5 five three seven six one nine five and so on the only difference in nine by nine board is this box check condition 
and this box checks box check is always also very easy so let me just run it run this 9 by 9 board and uh, you can apply the same solution uh, so what so if we if you see here we I have the same base case same I have same way I have noted the solution the I'll uh, I'll be checking uh, that uh, whether this is a valid candidate or not then I'll be checking all the possible solutions if I have a possible solution if I have a possible solution then I'll be uh, let it run okay so it has a it has a board uh, printed here so if it has a possible solution uh, then backtrack play, first place the element backtrack and then make the board zero and similarly for 9 by 9 care board this is also the same very same solution so let's go to the complexity analysis of this problem Mm, okay of this solution basically so uh, for the complexity of uh, this 4x4 four four board would be 4 factorial raised to power 4 how so basically uh, uh, let let us consider this board uh, I'm at first cell uh, I, any of the four numbers can be placed so I'll place four now in the next cell I'll just place three numbers in the next cell I can place two numbers and in next cell I can place only four, one number so the complexity would be for the single row would be four factorial now for the second row third row and so on would be all four factorial provided four into four factorial provided I do not have any backtracking now in case of backtracking I have to uh, empty the particular cell or a particular row entirely now let's suppose that we are at the last cell of the second row we are at the last cell of the second row and we need to backtrack till the first row first element right so it means what we are at here and we have to backtrack till here so now again in the in uh, the solution we have to again try similarly four 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 possible solutions that is one two three four then here out of this four the left three solutions and so on so it will be again four factorial plus four factorial right and if we are at uh, this one uh, this element and we have to backtrack till first so it will be three times into four factorial and if we are at last element then it will be four times into four factorial so overall uh, complexity for um, the board for the backtracking algorithm would be 4 factorial multiplied by 4 factorial 4 times so it will be 4 factorial raised to power 4 now what's the space complexity so the space complexity for this solution would be 16 how for uh, I am at first cell uh, I have placed 4 then I'll uh, like I'll backtrack I, I'll uh, move to the another function stack and I'll place 3 then I'll move to another function stack let's suppose here and I found I cannot place any element so as of now two function stacks are there one for this element one for this element something like uh, something like here and then I found that there is no element I can place here so I have to backtrack and in backtracking this function stack for this element would be deleted right so if we see here if I backtrack to here the stack function stack of this function is deleted completely so at a time in a particular row only four function stacks are there so all and all uh, four into four total 16 function stacks are there 16 stacks are there and for if we have n cross n then we'll have only n um, as a space complexity right and we are not using any extra uh, we are using though one extra board for storing the solution but that's o n plus o n it's again o n only so this is how we uh, can solve a sudoku problem so i have just given example of a 5 by 5 board as well if you find any issues you can just go through uh, this 5 by 5 board this it's using the very similar way that what all possible solutions are there so for example at row element 0 I have checked all the possible solutions if one is possible no two is possible yes three is possible no then four yes five yes so three solutions are there I'll place two the first solution then I'll move to this element I'll check all the possible solutions one no two no three yes four no five yes because 
uh, at this position i cannot place one not two i cannot place three uh, i can place three not four not f yes i can place five so i'll just take the first one that is three and similarly at the f at this one uh, at this position this this one i'll check all the possible solutions if i found one i'll just place uh, four so if we are at the last element we'll move to the next row and similarly uh, we can just move on and here comes the condition of a backtracking in case of a backtracking we will uh, go to that particular element which has two possible solutions two or three paths out of it so we'll move to something sim here and we'll try the next path so this is very simple concept of backtracking so hope you have uh, uh, found it uh, useful um, thanks a lot guys have a good day bye bye